Since it's probably never a good idea to ask your potential employer if they're gonna drug test you, it's always a good idea to be prepared for the possibility of a urine sample, a blood test, or the mysterious hair test. So how long does it actually stay in your hair? Here's the breakdown. From the time that the THC metabolites enter the root of your hair until the time they reach your scalp, that's about five to 10 days, depending on how fast your hair grows. After that, they're gonna take the most recent inch and a half of hair growth. And since most people's hair grows about half an inch a month, you're looking at three months before you're in the clear. Or you can just shave your head. Once your hair gets sampled, it's put into this solution where it's broken down. And then it's tested using what's called an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA for short, which is just a pretty simple test that uses these antibodies. And those antibodies detect whether or not there are these THC metabolites in the solution. And if that test returns a positive, it's not really the final answer. Then they'll usually use gas chromatography, mass spectroscopy, to really detect whether those chemicals are there. And these are just like expensive, huge pieces of lab equipment that are pretty good at detecting whether certain molecules are present. You know, unfortunately, even though this kind of testing is still pretty frequently used because it's a lot less invasive than taking a blood or urine sample, uh, it's actually well known for having pretty high rates of false positives. Uh, you know, it's not supposed to test your hair for marijuana that gets absorbed through smoke in the air. So like, let's say you're in the room with somebody and they're smoking and you're not. Technically, it shouldn't make you test positive, but there is some research suggesting that that's possible. This whole process can feel pretty invasive. And unfortunately, it seems like it's usually the most low skilled, poorest paying jobs that actually require drug tests of their employees. For instance, my two crappiest jobs, working as an usher at a movie theater and delivering sandwiches, were the only jobs I've ever had that required drug tests. So yeah, maybe just uh, look for a different job if you have the option. Did you pass? Uh, yeah, I passed. Mm -hmm.